That's me, Melvin Jenkins, sophomore at Penn Trafford High. As far as stereotypes go, this school does not disappoint. I guess I've always been considered a loser. Invisible, nothing special. Spotlight's never really been on me. I've won countless quiz team competitions, and I'm in fact the president of the chess club. But no one seems to care about accomplishments such as those. I think people take me as a joke. No one really takes the time to know me, especially the oh-so-majestic popular crowd. Everyone has their place. And well, I'm a nerd. Melvin, you're late again. That's like the second time this week. One more Mr. Smart guy is going to have himself detention. Oh, Lee, don't remind me. I pedal as fast as I can. I just, oh, what's the quiz team going to say? Oh, and if Sheldon finds out about this, I'm sure to lose my presidency at the Champion Chess Club. CCC, bud. No one cares. I care. At least there's somebody there. Really? Well, actually, I'm so good that no one really wants to play me, and they all hate me. Right. Oh, dude, I completely forgot. I need the last night's homework. Do you have it? Yeah, finally. But just so you know, I really do not approve of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen, bud, you really need to lighten up and relax. And where's that gonna lead me to? Not doing my homework? Off the quiz team? Banned from the Dungeons and Dragons clubhouse? Lying, cheating, stealing, death? Dude, chill. I will most certainly not cheat. I'm thinking about getting a new bike anyways, because let's face it, that thing's not going to get me for anything. <laughs> hey, Melvin. I had fun with my homework last night, did you? <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at his glasses and stuff. You gonna ask my question? Man, look at this kid's sweat. Very low, very low. Hey, let's take a look walk over to my yeah. locker real quick. Hey, let's just right in here. Come on, Melvin. It's a joke. Laugh about it if you want. That's Rex. No, that is indeed not his real name. His real name's Halford Yider, but after he started playing football and decapitating limbs, the public only thought it necessary to call him Rex Ryder. It was fitting enough, and trust me, he lives up to the expectations. Any true physical pain I've felt has been from that guy. Oh, my backpack. Oh, man, I'm gonna be late again. Leroy Baker has been my best friend for as long as I can remember. In elementary school, we were inseparable. Then puberty hit, and we soon chose the path of conformity and the whole fitting in thing. It all seemed stupid to me back then. Still does. Maybe I should have been stupid. But it's too late for what ifs now, even though he hangs out with the jerks that make my life horrible. Somehow he's always been there for me. Though things are starting to get worse and worse each day with Rex, and I don't know what the future holds as far as Lee and I's friendship goes. Checkmate. What? I was totally beating you. Can't beat. The master! I should've figured Mr. Captain the chess team would beat me. Well, Alright, Melon, my man, I gotta go and study for my chem test. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, bye Lee. First, the bowling was taken to a new level, and Lee was with them the whole time. I couldn't even pee in peace anymore. And the ladies were especially unkind for some reason. I was fed up with it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I stood up to Rex for the first time. <laughs> yeah, did I? You probably make out with your calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you like homework. <laughs> oh, very original. Wait, what'd you just say? Dude, this kid just say something? I think I just heard him say something. <laughs> yeah, he like said something. Care to say anything else, Chatty Cathy? Well, first off, my name's Melvin, and second of all, your breast smells like sh You got anything else to say? I think you forgot who I was, and that should be the perfect reminder. No, are you okay? No, uh, it's uh... It's not your fault, I uh... It's not like you were the one that punched me. Uh, I mean, Rex is bound to get something for this. I mean, there's a camera right there. I wouldn't be so sure. He's especially nice to Mrs. McLaughlin in the office. Your friends are walking away. <sighs> All right, see ya. Look at 
this case where it went very low, very low. Probably make out your calculator. <laughs> I bet you like, like, homework. You done? What the? Who are you? Don't try to act dumb. We both know you're not. Isn't it obvious? I'm you. But how? Why? Because you need me, that's why. Look at the state you're in. Pathetic. You really want to be cool and get all the girls and be noticed for something other than being a target to get picked on? Then let me help you. What do you say? Can you really do that for me, Melvin? Just call me Mel. Now, if you'd be so kind to let me into your mind, we can get this show on the road. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Dude, you're a nerd. Who do you think you are? You can't just change every one night. Yeah, right, all right, all right, I get it. I know I'm all super cool and hot and popular now, but honestly, uh, I'm not doing anything to harm you, so you can just buzz off. All right, look. You got the glasses and the clothes and the looks now, but for real, you're Melvin Jenkins. You're the biggest nerd in the school. Right, so let me remind you where your place is. Don't try to touch me again, unless you want to get hurt. By the way, the name's Mel. I warned you. That felt great. But at the same time, did you really have to hurt him that badly? Listen, Melvin. We're Mel now, okay? You can't be Mr. Nice Guy anymore. You can have to do some things that you might not want to do if you want to be cool. But hey, that's what I'm here for. You just sit back and relax. Why don't they make bigger lockers? The following week was a no, complete struggle it. for control. No, Mel was stop, getting out stop. of hand, and I couldn't do a thing about it. Stop. No. It's my body now. Mel, you're completely out of line. I still want to live my life, okay? Oh, do you? Because I was pretty sure just a week ago you are some suicidal, insignificant nerd. And now look at you. Rex's friends respect you now. And your phone contacts have increased from just mom, dad, grandma, and Lee. You're somebody now. And that's what you wanted to be. I... I don't want it that badly to have to hurt others and make myself seem more stupid and just be a more awful person in general. Oh, but Melvin, you do want it that badly. It gives you a sick sense of thrill and accomplishment, and you know it. <laughs> There's no use hiding it, you little goody-two-shoes. If you didn't want it that badly, you never would have created me. That's not true. It can't be true. Ah, but it is, Melvin. You were a pathetic nerd who everybody could give a crap about. You were nothing, lower than dirt. Your parents never even cared when you came home looking like you were dead. You know what else? If you would have killed yourself that night, nobody would have cared. Not one person. <laughs> They'd probably all laugh about it too. Upset that they didn't get to do it first. No, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up! Just accept it already. If you were to disappear right now, no one would notice. Not your family, not your school, and not Lee. Here. You're right. I know I am. Now do the world a favor and hand the body over. You know it's for the best. If I feel like it. Melvin. 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 
I told you already. My name's Mel. Who are you? Seriously. This isn't the Mel Jenkins I know. Mel. Mel J. J. Mel. Big Mel. I don't care. Just not Melvin. Do you hear yourself? This is how you're gonna treat your only friend? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Leroy. I have friends now, and I don't need some guy like you running around telling me what to do. Who are you? I know Melvin, and that's not Melvin. Just let me say one thing. Ah, shut up! Who knows what could happen with this kid? Do you remember last time he went psycho? I'll ask again. Did you have anything to do with Melvin's new self? No, I told you before. I was just as surprised as everyone else. I let you into my group. I considered you a friend. And then you get your little nerd buddy Melvin to stand up to us? Nerd is a nerd. Now you're gonna pay. Well, I had nothing to do with it. Melvin. <laughs> you got a lucky punch, asshole. Now I'm gonna take it out on you. What's your problem? We had this discussion already. Why can't you just accept it? I was wrong. I was wrong to have created you. It was a moment of true weakness that I never should have given into. I regret it 100%. Well, cry me a river, Melvin. You made me because of the pathetic freak you are. And now, I'm here to stay. You are me. No matter what you say, I created you so I can end you. And how are you gonna do that? I'm a smart guy, remember? Who's to say I'm not as smart? Well? I don't need you! <clears throat> what? What is this? What are you doing to me? I said I don't need you. Why are you still here? <clears throat> oh, just shut up! I know what you're trying to do here. But here's the thing. You do need me. And you know it. I, I don't. I realize now that popularity isn't all it's cracked up to be. Worst week of my life. I'd rather be dead than what you are. <laughs> That's a good one. You wanted to be dead before because of what you are. I told you before it was a moment of weakness. A moment I'm never gonna have again. I'm glad now that I am what I am. A nerd. And that's the way it's gonna be. No. <laughs> no, you don't feel that way. You can't feel that way. You want the spotlight to be on you. You, you want attention and popularity and girls. I guess you got those security cameras fixed? Yeah. So anyways, what did happen here? What was with the whole Mel thing? It, uh, it would take a while to explain. I, I don't really know how to put this, but uh, let's just say for once in my life, I'm happy that I'm a nerd. Good. Well, let's get out of here. So, what do you think will happen to Rex? I don't know. I guess only time will tell. So what happened next? Well, 
My random burst of popularity made people have a weird sense of respect for me in some way. It's like I wasn't invisible anymore. Now don't get me wrong, I was still the biggest nerd in school, and I plan to keep that title. The snickers and pointing still happen, but I just didn't care anymore. I laughed about it. As for Lee, he stopped hanging around Rex's gang, as any sane human being would, and he and I remained best friends. And Rex, well, he was the star football player. He got suspended for two weeks. But to stay on the team, he had to have a passing grade in math. And guess who they got to tutor? <laughs>